All right, YouTube, we're back. All right, hitting Gurmag Angler is pretty solid because we can cast it next turn. We're kind of just hoping that our creatures go all the way. Like, their creatures are going to have Island Walk, but it's going to be tough for them to, like, attack us. They forced that. Okay. So that's what they drew. Hey. Hey, Philly. Put that in here. Then it looks like they missed on a land drop. Jeez. Let me play my land first so I don't get dazed. <clears throat> I wish I had a blue card to play with this force. Because they're going to play their Silvergill Adept, and then the Silvergill Adept is going to do some work there. Um, did you play with Tomiko's List after that? I'm playing with Tomiko's List now. I did play with it a little bit. All right, that's a pretty much the best draw in the deck because we can shuffle away these two bad cards. I'm definitely forcing this Silver Gill Adept, like for sure. Because the Silver Gill Adept is going to get the ball rolling. The way they pause there makes me think they have a dismember. I know nothing about Legacy Merfolk. So, okay, so let's get rid of this. Let me get a uh, underground sea because um, if I get an underground sea, I can kind of like be a little conservative in my life total. One, two, three. I actually can just cast another Gurmag Angler, which is kind of sweet. I'm going pretty low on life total, but but I do get to put oh no turn off auto yields days. Is this worth fighting over? Putting me a two. I think so. Tilt. And I could have I could have just cycled to play around that. That was a mistake. If I'd have cycled before combat, I would have played around this thing. So they play their island. We're gonna play that land so that we can hard cast force of will next turn. It was probably not right to cycle there. Or if it was to play around days. I don't really know what is going on in the merfolk deck but cast chalice for zero okay but i probably could have snuff out there was a daze Yeah, I should have cycled beforehand to play around days. Like, I probably could have figured that out, but. But I didn't. Okay. I'm assuming I want everything that kills something. I don't know how many X ones they have, so I don't know if this is actually good. Like, how many X ones? I don't think they have a lot. I'm going to go with Days is not good on the draw. Probably Stub and Spell Pierce aren't great on the draw either. And I'll keep my forces in and then put my forces in on the play. This Edict is probably decent. Yeah, I think we're going to try this. <clears throat> Mm 
I'm excited. I, I like playing Legacy. I, I feel like I get tooled on in these blue mirrors, though. Like, just absolutely outplayed. Dark Blast is a good way to deal with um, whatever the dumb card is. Silver Girl Adept without feeling like super bad. I wonder if this deck plays like Ancient Tomb in order to turn one Chalice. You are right, Rafi. I don't know if I should maybe... Probably none of my blue cards are any good. I'm going to bring my Dazes back in on the play, but I don't think I'm going to do it now. Plus, they might play Phantasmal Image. I think the old modern Merfolk decks played Phantasmal Image. The hard part about this matchup is that, like, I'm not going to be able to block anything. So I probably got to be pretty conservative with my life total. How are you doing today, Rafi? I'm going to keep my hand and, like, against a Merfolk deck, I don't think I can mulligan this. Like, I can Thought Seize on one to take a Chalice if I need to. I think a hand's probably just too good besides that. They usually have House Hunting. Nice. And DuPont. Oh yeah, so then if that's if that's true, then Dark Blast is definitely good. They put a card on top. Alright. If we're not gonna draw a land, that was probably our best draw. So we're taking a chalice. Master, Master, Trickster. I'm just going to take this Master. You looking to buy a house, Rafi, or are you looking to uh, rent? So maybe my Dazes aren't even very good on the play. Land? Okay. Brent, okay. I kind of want all these cards. So what happens if I go... This is probably going to get me like an underground sea to just watch my life total. And then I can go like removal spell, shadow, shadow, removal spell. I think we're just going to trade. We're not going to let our opponent uh, untap with creatures if we can get away with it. Play this, play this, should be in good shape now I think, we have Murpho Trickster and two unknown cards that I do not know about, so there's a land.
So my opponent gets too frisky in combo in combat here. We're gonna we're gonna get him. That's kind of like the sweet part about playing Death Shadow. It's just such a nightmare to attack. Chalice four one. Well, I might as well use this. So do I want to play Last Hope and get that working? Last Hope doesn't really kill anything. So I think we're just going to brainstorm. Last Hope's not great, actually. Oh, shoot. Forgot about the chalice. I'm glad we're shaking the cobwebs off this morning before the, the big game starts. Yeah, we're, shake, we're shaking it off. So this is just the 1313, that's kind of funny. I don't think this is worth dismembering with my last removal spell. I'd much rather like hit this Muta Vault. <clears throat> Shaking the cobwebs off, baby. You probably should play around days too, to pay for life. I hope my opponent draws Ether Vials for the rest of the game. Cool thing about Dark Blast and if they have like if they ever get a Phantasmal image is that like the trigger or the just targeting it with the spell still works. Sad part about Moto is you can't even just jam your brainstorm confidently and be like, maybe they'll miss it. Okay, so let's think here. So, two, four, six, down to two makes these nines, right? So these are seven fourteen. I can just take this and then dismember their follow up. So I'm just going to pay two life because even, uh, well, no, hang on. How do I lose? I don't lose to Daze. I lose to another Merfolk Trickster and then a draw step. So I might as well just untap, attack, and then dismember this. Echoing Truth, that could be a one, two. So let's attack. Echoing Truth would be pretty pretty vomit inducing. All 
All right. Got some. Got him. The echoing truth would have been so bad. I was just like, they'd have bounced my two. They got a two for one, and I couldn't recast them. So bad. I should sign up for the Legacy Challenge before I forget. Because that would suck. So how's the chat doing this this early morning? Uh, we got a brainstorm. Flooded strand. So we're probably playing against like a miracle deck. So these two are likely getting shuffled away, unfortunately. So let's. I guess they could play like could be playing a Stoneforge Mystic deck, but we're gonna get rid of these and that's it. Make sure to shuffle those away. I'll probably shuffle on my upkeep. Yep, you get your brainstorm, bud. You get your brainstorm, bud. I can't imagine any Swords to Plowshares deck being a good matchup. God, Stifled Air would have been sick. Oh, they have Steam Vents too? Are they just like budging it up or what are they doing? Okay, second German Mag Angler is kind of awkward. So, I think I can waste them next turn. I would like to put a threat into play, I think. So, I'm going to try... It's like, what? what are we more worried about here? Days or Lightning Bowl, and I'm going to go with Lightning Bowl. Yeah, I'm all about that fetch upkeep. Life. Life. Force of Will pitching spell snare. Then we just let this go. We've got another Death Shadow and a Brainstorm. Like Snapcaster Brainstorm. We, okay, we're going to let that one go too. I will likely snuff this out before they untap though, because I don't want, I don't want, um, I don't want to take too, too much damage and then get bolted out of the game. No siree. Oh, they had another force. 
That likely kills me because I need two combats now. So they have some volcanic, some steam vents. Maybe they just have enough volcanic islands where... Alright, that, that likely does it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Beats. The old TNN. True Day Nemesis is really good against this deck. Like, I feel like whenever I play against a blue deck, I just have to, like, hedge to try to not lose to that card. Because that card just beats me. From time to time. So I want my Diabolic Edict. I want my Pyroblast. I want my Deluge. Probably these Fluster Storms as well. So I'm on the play, so I probably don't want Force. And I probably can cut like two street wraiths. Probably playing four volks. Yeah, it's all of our Tomiko's exact deck. I think I don't really want anything else. Like, I guess the Dark Blast is good because they likely have Young Pyromancer. I think we're just gonna like cut everything that deals damage to us. The Liliana Last Hopes are probably decent. Maybe I just don't even want to board in the Fluster Storms. Or maybe we just board them in on the draw and then try like more removal. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Arc Mage? I think I'm gonna try this. Cause I'm going to assume that my opponent has young pyromancer. I think I'm going to try that. Oh, what am I doing? What happened to my game? I think I'm going to try that on. Well, maybe the snuff out's not good. So maybe I want like one more of these. Maybe these braids not good either. I could probably go something like this. It's probably all right. The, the the real tough question, Shad Archmage. The real tough questions. I'm gonna bring in more forces on the draw, I think. Cut my dazes. But again, keep doesn't matter what the scry is. Hopefully this Delver flips. My opponent just doesn't kill it. All right, one time no days back. Days. Oh, and it flips. Poor sequencing. Poor sequencing from the home team. Man, they got so many. Oh, so this is like a standstill kind of deck. So they're, my removal sucks. I guess I just take this counter spell. They can't even cast it. Probably just take Reb. Their hand's pretty redundant. And I don't want I want them to use like Fluster Storm in my preordain. This is like a blue-red standstill deck. 
There's the factory. I think it's greedy to not put this on top. Especially when we're going to waste this blue land. I could waste the factory, but like I'm going to push one of the factories. So, man, they drew another blue source. What a tilt. Beats by factory. So I know my opponent's hand. So they currently don't have a way to handle this thing. So there's the factories. So I'm just going to crack my opponent for six. I don't want to crack them for seven. No, because then it means a two-turn clock to the Mishra's factories. Just hope they don't play a true name nemesis. That'd be bad. You don't control is definitely legal in legacy. It is. Bolt me. You got it. I, th I would think it's better. So let's push this. Bolt me. Okay. Then fluster storm and get me. A good set of draw steps from the opponent. Play for three, can't pay it. They got me. Opponent got me. Drawing, finding those two bolts is a pretty big game. Sad. Say I'm not. I mean, I, I, there's definitely no way that I'm not supposed to attack there, I don't think. Like, like that's got to be the right play, right? I probably sideboarded wrong also. Like, I sideboarded in... Well, I should have sideboarded more counter spells. And probably had a little less removal, but I don't know. That's gonna happen to me though. Like I'm gonna get lay I'm gonna get tooled lay of the land here. You know, like just not knowing how my opponent sideboards. I don't know how I sideboard, you know. It is going to it's going to suck. Went over a thousand followers yesterday. That was pretty great. Opened up a bunch of treasure chests for on stream, which was fun as fun as all hell. Yesterday was just a great day. Even though I got tooled on in the modern challenge, it was just a great day. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan this. Even though we could double wasteland our opponent out of a game, we don't have anything else going on. Yeah, we'll keep this. So we lose our shuffle off of our brainstorm, but I think it's just too mopey to not thought seize on one. Just, to, just you know, even though we do lose the shuffle. Hang on one second. My dog's making a bunch of noise. I'll be right back.
come through tongues upon your death. Okay. So we just take this ether vial and end up losing this Umazawa's Jurgit. You know, you feel underpowered, Archmage. Take that. All right. Waste my black source. You got it. I got one more land, too. I guess I could brainstorm to find a daze. <coughs> it's either brainstorm to find a daze or force pitching a brainstorm. Because I got I can't let this thing live here. So let's brainstorm to find daze. We didn't find daze. So let's put back this and then this and then I'm going to force pitching a brainstorm. I probably could have force pitched spell pierce. That would have been better. And then or force pitch stubborn denial, keep my brainstorm. That was dumb. Yeah. That was dumb ditching the brainstorm. I should have ditched either my stub. Oh, now we're in even more trouble. I should have pitched my stub or I should have pitched my um and I should have phase brainstorm. I'm, I'm playing, I'm not sequencing this very well at all. And now we're just like dead. This was poor sequencing for me. I played this deck two weeks ago. Four goes as well. But I played my last with four goes. Yeah. I, I didn't sequence this very, very well. Okay, so these come in. These come in, and this comes in. I'm going to go with these forces not being great. Probably, like, these counter spells aren't great either. And I can probably just cut some Street Wraiths against the deck that's attacking me. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I, well... So here's kind of the problem with me in a legacy deck. A legacy deck is probably going to look worse in my hands than it actually is because I don't play a lot of legacy. I only played one brainstorm tournament. All right, keep. We're gonna go underground sea delver and hope my opponent doesn't wait or watery grave delver and hope my opponent doesn't waste me. They're going to waste me. Till. I guess maybe it's, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to like preordain there, but. No, we got lucky. Four sequencing. So our Delver's going to flip next turn. I probably don't want the Deluge. I don't know, maybe. Do I want the Deluge? I don't think so. I think I want to use my mana on this turn. So let's attack. Yeah, but I don't really want to just take my turn off, Archmage. Like, let's see what my opponent's got here. Mm-hmm. 
So we deal with this Thalia, even though it's annoying. I think we just take the Umazawa's Jurget. And I'm just, I'm going to use my mana because they're going to, one, two, three, four, five, six, because they're definitely going to, um, like, cast Thalia next turn. I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to use either. Probably Preordain, probably Ponder is better later. Ooh, those are pretty good. Um, put on the bottom, put on top. So I should probably do this now before my opponent draws, like, starts practicing it. So... They drew, and they drew Cavern of Snow. They didn't draw Cavern of Souls. All right, we got Plowed. Mama. I actually don't think, yeah, we're going to do this. So I can actually brainstorm and then use the Dark Blast to clear my, oh, wow, okay, we can do that too. Don't want this. Don't want this. Definitely just going to Dark Blast this thing. So I think I want both of these because I can use the Dark Blast to shuffle off my Brainstorm, which is kind of cool. Because I can play Delver Brainstorm, even if I get locked, I can use the Brainstorm to dredge it away. Either Vile right on time. So I know my opponent's hand. I guess this gets like a Mirren Crusader, which is pretty bad, right? Probably can't beat Mirren Crusader. No, we get Stoneforge Mystics. Maybe they don't have Mirren Crusader. We're not going to do this. No, I have to do this every time. So, Stoneforge Mystic probably goes and gets, like, a Jurgit. Or, no, they probably get Sword, Sword of Light and Shadow. Or Sword of Fire and Ice, excuse me. Yeah. So this Deluge is actually kind of annoying with this Delver. Probably just keep it though. And I can like one for one my way out of all this, probably. But I can just go like Reveal. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna dark blast it. This clears our top too, which is kind of sweet.
like it's rid of our days and our dismember. We're going to get this out of here so they have to commit on their main phase. Yeah, Flicker Wisp is not good. So I know they have Sarah Avenger's Sword. So there's Sarah Avenger. I probably want to dredge back the Dark Blast. So let's push this. I just have to kill everything. If they violent a Thalia here and then have a land next turn, I probably just like lose on the spot. Like I'm not beating that sword. Like if this is a Thalia, the game's. It's another Stoneforge Mystic. That's bad as well. So that gets Batter Skull. Mm hmm. All right, so they're just going to cast the Batter Skull. They're going to cast Batter Skull and Sword. They're going to violin this, I guess. Oh, so now I don't actually know how I'm winning. Because I have to attack and then deluge for four. And then hope my opponent doesn't have anything for like the rest of the game. Because we know their last card in their hands is a spell or like an Aether Vial. If it was a land, they would have played it so they didn't have to sack their Caracas. At least Liliana is like a game plan. But we're going to get in there for three. Then deluge away the board. This is a flicker wisp. Oh, this is gas. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this was great. So now we flip this Delver. They can't really port. Well, now they can port and bounce their Battle Skull and then replay their Battle Skull. So we flip this Delver. We might be doing it. Oh, Days is also great because Days hits the batter skull on the way down. Oh man, that was an insane draw. Yeah, I would agree. Dark Blast did work. It's 
So now they're dead, right? Because now we just Dark Blast this. Cast Lily on the Last Hope. Probably just rebuy a Death Shadow. They bounce it back to their hand. I think we just take a draw step now. Edict is also great. So. I probably should have gone down in case they had, well, if they have Council, if they draw Council's Judgment, they're going to have to deal with this Delver. No, I don't either. It was just a, they just made a mistake. People make mistakes. I get manhandled in these Delver mirrors all the time. I probably make mistakes that my opponents just don't understand. I guess that it was kind of like, how do they lose territory? So I don't want these Dazes on the draw. Probably want some number of forces. I don't know how many forces is right. Maybe my stubs are okay. <clears throat> well, I was worried about them plowing my Delver, but I guess it doesn't. Because if I plow my Delver, if they plow Delver and then I play heavily on it in play, I can get Death Shadow back next turn. Right? Cuts a, cuts a turn off the clock. Spell Pierce and Stubborn Denial seem really bad. But then again, so does Force of Will. Four Forces just seems like a way to lose the game. If they draw like a Cavern. I don't know, chat. Should I just board these Street Wraiths back in, or should I board these Forces in? Or like these. It's like I need to, I need to board in two of these six. That makes sense, JVD Paul. Help us fight through Wastelands and such. I'm doing it. You gave me a compelling argument. And that's what I was looking for. All I was looking for was a compelling argument. Heater. We're going to blast mom. Get a pretty aggressive shadow draw. Vile kind of sucks for us. Okay. So I would rather them f waste this. I think I want this. I just want lands and threats. Yeah. Yeah, that's that could just be like the huge handicap to this deck is that it just is never going to be a uh, whatever it is. Okay, Thalia. It's just like never reasonably going to be a um, a lot of Swords to Plowshare decks. So I kind of just want to wait because I don't want to get got by a mom. Yeah, so now we're going to kill Mom. And I'm going to get an Underground Sea. Yo, this Dark Blast is nuts. No, Legacy Challenge doesn't start until like 11. I'm just kind of warming up here. 
port. Port is annoying. So I think I'm just gonna let this go. Take a draw step. I'm not gonna dredge. Wow, that deluge is nice. I'm just going to play Delver and Death Shadow. All right, Stoneforge Mystic is a beating. It's kind of nice that Sword of Fire and Ice, like Shadow gets around Sword of Fire and Ice, so does like Bitter Blossom. You're kind of into it. But they had to deal with my Shadow, right? Because Shadow just eats... Sneaky Cho is a good deck. I would like to reveal Ponder. I think I'm going to get this Dark Blast back. And then I'm just going to attack with this Insect. Like this in every Twitch chat. <laughs> you are Twitch chat, Archmage. If they go like Vile and Sarah Avenger, but then these trade. Remorseful Cleric? Okay. Then we pass. Vile this in. <sighs> I wonder if I should upkeep this. I should probably do this before. I should have done it before the Vile trigger. But I think I'm just going to Dark Blast this thing right now. Because I don't want them to play a Caracas. I should have done it before the Vile Trigger, because now they can Vile and Flicker Wisp and save it. But they're probably going to Vile and Flicker Wisp to hit my Shadow. And then attack with Stoneforge Mystic. Rip. Hey, doing good, Imbuement. All right. That was a big draw. So I think I just attack. We have, yeah, I got a lot of viewers going by this morning. It's pretty awesome. Y'all are great. So we're going to attack. Because I, I bet they have a flicker wisp. Maybe not. I kind of want to play Bitter Blossom. I don't want to play a second. I could just Deluge, but the problem is the Deluge, they vial in whatever the dumb card is, Flicker Wisp. They strap the sword, and then I'm dead. So I think I'm just going to play this Bitter Blossom. We're going to live life on the wild side. I went four and three in the challenge.
And then we're going to go to four. Wasteland, okay. So now I'm kind of actually down with playing another shadow because if my opponent plows my shadow, I could just brainstorm right now, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to use this mana. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Perfy, but like what else was I going to... What I'm going to do next is I'm going to attack. And then I'm going to play another shadow and hopefully try to like... Well, the problem is now I need to hold up Fatal Push because if they if I play another shadow and they cast whatever it is, Flicker Wisp, I die because they just exile my fairy. So now we just have to chill. Personally, like, yeah, that might have been right to do. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm no legacy expert there, Perfy. And they scoop it up. Nice. That's the other really sweet angle about this deck is I find myself like doing pretty decent against like those creature decks because my shadows are so huge. They're, like they just end games so quickly. Yeah, so what I was thinking of, Kiki Jiki, was like, yeah, Swords is like a really big blowout, but I have so many cards in my hand and an active Glitter Blossom that unless they draw like Batter Skull or Mirror Crusader, I don't think they can beat Bitter Blossom going long. Oh, so Perf, do you, uh, are you in the Virginia area? I'm in, I'm in Alexandria. I know Bob plays at Curio from time to time. I've met Bob before. Well, no one knows how to leverage life total like me. That's what I'm good at. All right, keep this. This hand's gas. Need, needs a big dude. Fairfax here. So I play I play at uh like one second. <laughs> Excuse me. I play quite a bit at um Labyrinth when I want to play for fun. And um I play at Curio sometimes. Yeah, that seems a little loose. Huh? Hopefully I'm playing against like a combo deck. Storm, maybe? No, nope, not playing against a combo deck. So many threats. The Pyromancer's probably a huge problem. One, two, three, four, five. Probably just take a Pyromancer, try to daze another Pyromancer, and then like fight through the Skirmag Angler with my Shadows and Anglers. I don't want to deal with it going wide. I literally, I have no idea. Like, I, I've played this deck, I've played the Stifle deck once, and I played this deck twice. I am not a professional in it either way. So I'm going to let this cantrip go, because I want to daze this young Pyromancer. And when they try to force, then I will force back. Plus, I want to I want to have, give myself the option to brainstorm next turn. It's on the... It's on Stream Decker. There. Perfy. So they chose to not shuffle last time.
and they chose to not shuffle again. What's for dinner? I'm not sure. I am kind of hungry. Snuff out's a pretty great draw. So I'm going to play this polluted delta. And I guess I brainstorm. Because I wouldn't mind hitting a Thoughtseize. I kind of wish this deck had him in the sideboard. But maybe, like, that's just overkill. I wouldn't mind shuffling away this second Brainstorm. Okay, so Stub, Brainstorm. I'm likely going to shuffle away one of these Brainstorms. I kind of want the other one. So I think we're going to put both of these back. Because now I can actually daze and then stub a force, which is kind of sweet. Yeah, Oliver built his deck very well. Again, I know nothing about this deck, really. This is all Oliver to my ghost doing. Okay. So how do I deal with this thing? Okay, so here's something kind of cool, okay? I can force this Pyromancer. My opponent forces back. Then they've got Gurmag Angler in their hand. It actually puts enough cards in the graveyard for them to delve Gurmag Angler and play into Daze. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Force of Will, Pitching Stubborn Denial. It's all Doing all of this on the stack means that my opponent does isn't making tokens. Besides the one token they'll get from the days. They just let that go, okay? So here's Gurmag Angler. I thought they would fight over that. Turns out they did not. My whole plan was kind of based on them fighting over that. Now that they didn't fight over that, I don't really know what to do. Now we have this big ugly dude that's just going to like beat into me. Yeah, I thought they were going to fight, to tell you the truth. And my opponent might have just like leveled me by not fighting. All right, we're good. So we're going to get, we don't want to lose some lightning bolts here. <clears throat> we got another daze. Oh, they had another daze. What a beating. Yeah, I thought they were going to fight over that. But maybe they realized that Gurmag Angler was the real prize. Okay. So I guess I should have cycled with that on the stack because no matter what I'm going to cycle anyways and that was a mistake to do. Yeah, it was dumb. I should have cycled with that on the stack. Oh geez. All right. What a hit. All right. Take a turn off, man. It's like, who draws a cantrip first? I 
Oh, baby. So now I'm not going to play around this member. Oh, baby. We're basically dead to like true name nemesis at any point, but like such is life. Is there any reason to do this before combat? I don't think so. Because like I have nothing that I can cast that could kill this angler. I guess I kind of want a force of will to not get cheesed out by a lightning bolt. So let's... Should have played my land. Thought scour, okay. Got very lucky. All right. Yeah, okay, so I guess going back, going back to that Pyromancer play, I, I w went aggressively at the Pyromancer because I thought my opponent would fight back. Because I thought that they, they were thinking that they could play the Pyromancer and the Gurmag Angler. So if I go like, and if I show them the force before the days, I think that would make them think I don't have any counter magic. So when they put the Pyromancer on the stack, I wanted to fight over it because if I fight over the Gurmag Angler with the Pyromancer in play, they get more tokens. My whole plan fell through and my opponent didn't fight over the, the Pyromancer. And then I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. So that's the reason that I did that. And it turned out to not be right. Because I wanted, I wanted to pick a fight with the Pyromancer on the stack thinking that my opponent would also pick that fight, if that makes sense. So I want this Deluge for Trune Nemesis, the Edict for Trune Nemesis, Dark Blast for Pyromancer, Delver, and Tokens. I don't know how many three drops I want. I know I want my Blasts, and like, this is, I guess, this is the maybe category. That was just like what I was thinking there when I when I made my plays. I don't want dazes on the draw. Stub, pierce, denial. I probably don't want my fluster storms if I have stubborn denial, spell pierce. Like, like I'm fighting over the same cards that fluster storm fights over with these and these. So I don't think I want my fluster storms. I probably can cut like. Definitely put these in, cut these, bring in, probably cut my Street Wraiths. I don't think I'm going to get to three mana with enough reliability to play these Lilianas, especially on the draw. But they might be better than, like, the Forces. You think Fluster is better than Pierce? I'll take your word for it. I just don't know how many forces I want. Probably four. Probably Fluster Storm is better than Force of Will. I'll keep three forces. I'm going to cut all my forces on the draw. On the play, I mean, excuse me. So I tend to think that these Delver Mirrors, like, while Force of Will is a two for one, I tend to think it comes down to like resolving something important and forcing it through with force is often like a good way to do that.
even on the draw. Because, like, so I play against Louis CBR from time to time, and when I played Delvermeers against him, he kept his forces in on the draw. And I asked him about it. And he says, like, it's not a really about card advantage. It's about sticking a, a like an unbeatable threat, you know? And when you when you stick like a true name or a Gargamag Angler, it doesn't matter how many cards your opponent has sometimes. I'm gonna keep my hand. The nice thing is here is I can pitch a force to a force. And I know that like I know the legacy some legacy content that I've read. Maybe I should have mulliganed this hand. I didn't think about Wasteland. That was stupid. I should have mulled. I didn't think about Wasteland. So now we can just get wasted out of this game. Yeah. Exactly. All right, and we're just going to Dark Blast this. I wonder how many pushes I should have in my deck if I'm supposed to bring in Dark Blast. Land. I do this every time. What a tilt. Nope. Don't waste me. Please don't waste me. All right, we drew a land. These. I'm definitely going to cut all my forces on the play. Because, like, Daze is much better. Oh, my opponents, why are they playing out all their lands? Are they going to, like... What are we going to see? Are we going to see a TNN? I'm going to fight over this TNN now instead of fighting over the Deluge. Because I might not draw a land for Deluge. And I would rather fight on my opponent's turn, untap with mana, and be able to do something. Okay, so we're going to let this go, and then we're going to dismember it. Is this going to get stifled? I guess they were playing around stifle. They are going to stifle this. This feels like a stubborn denial to me. I kind of want to wait until my shadow is unboltable to play it. Yeah, it's annoying, for sure. Get some more coffee. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ, Phil. Yeah, we don't want MTGO reading minds.
surgical, my dark blast. Okay. So like, I think I'm gonna win this game, kinda handily. I hope everybody's having a good morning. I appreciate y'all for hanging out today. Coming and helping me out a little bit. I'm not very I'm a, I'm not a super legacy player, but I hate how I can't F6 when I'm tapped out playing legacy. So yeah, I gotta force this, right? Okay. Does F4 let you, like, as soon as your opponent puts something on the stack, you can respond? Oh, that's a good one. So I would rather this fatal push resolve than this brainstorm. So let's push this, not get this dazed. And then I just I don't think there's any reason to play into days. Okay. Like, they haven't dazed me. I haven't really given them an opportunity to daze me, so it would make sense if their last card is days. Am I crazy to think that? Yeah, I agree, Baku. There's nothing I'm looking for also. Like, I'm not brainstorming with a purpose. All right, they just scoop it up. That felt good. I mean, that boarding in surgical was likely wrong to do, right? Like, so what would I brainstorm into? Ooh, that would have been sick. So if I brainstormed, I would, if I would brainstormed on my turn, because I would have drawn this, I would have put back this, and then put a shadow on top of it. Shocked myself, played Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial up. I think that would have been the plan. How dare you come into this Twitch chat, Archmage? But, everybody, thank you very much for showing up and hanging out this morning. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Carl Herder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, if you want to support me further, head over to my YouTube channel. I update all of – I uh, archive all of my content over there at YouTube. You can see replays. You'll see today's stream. Uh, yeah, so you should check that out. And I would love the subscription there because that gets me closer to being monetized, which is free. Uh, if you want to talk magic, yell at me. Check me out on Twitter. I tweet about my dog. I tweet about magic a lot. Um, and then uh, you should have Card Hoarder. They are the best bot chain in the business. They have a podcast. They sponsor a pro team. They help the streaming community. They really are the best, and they deserve your business. And um, link below is the Crystal Commerce to Gamer Craze, where I learned to play magic. It's a really great store in upstate New York um, that deserves your support. So if you need online magic cards, you should check them out. Plug done. So, yeah, you can, they have cards. You can sideboard in surgical. Just hurl. See how long we have until this challenge starts. We have 42 more minutes. So we got one sneak and show player in the chat. Perfy, right? I think I also like keeping in Force of Will because I tend to think card advantage in Magic is overrated. I think a lot of players look to play with card advantage and think about like how they can grind out um, advantage instead of just 
like forcing something that can win the game through. And I, th I think people just poorly assess their roles. Like, for example, I had someone once tell me that they kept in forces as a Delver player against Checkpile because they weren't winning a long game anyway, so they might as well try to force things through and kill their opponent and then protect their stuff. Probably playing taxes. Nice. That means half of everybody cashes, right? God. Like, I think I, I, I know, like, when I play modern, I pretty much, like, play Death Shadow in a way that, like, I value just killing people instead of, like, you know, grinding out. Like, I play Faithless Looting. God, son of a bitch. All right, heater. Whatever, I'm going to play my Delver next turn anyways. I'm just going to hope that my opponent's deck just doesn't do anything. But this is likely a throwaway one. I don't know, maybe they'll like only have one land. That doesn't look like the case. I'm kind of impressed that we're 3-1 in this league and haven't played against a combo deck. That turn one brainstorm means we're playing against Storm, I think. Because this is a pretty loose play, right? Unless they're just trying to kill me. Whoa. Flip. Pretty great. All right, let's attack first. Let's let's just do, let's do some sequencing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm gonna play in the challenge, so I might as well start to tighten up. I think I'm 100% wasting my opponent. Jeez. And then I can go. I kind of want all of these. And I think I want to go Stub, Bloodstain Meyer, Thoughtseize. Because I can actually go Fetch Shock, Thoughtseize, play Death Shadow as well. So like then I'm at least on the board. Or maybe it's just better to hold one more turn. I guess we can figure that out by what we by what we see. Like if we determine that like soft counters are gonna do something for us, then we can hold and not play the shadow. Rose. So now we just definitely play the Death Shadow. Because we take Baleful Strix, leave them with um, Abrupt Decay. They decay one of our threats. And then we release some Shadow in there. Yeah, dude, we're super dead. Yeah, Strix is, Strix is nuts. They drew a Trop, so they have Misty left in their hand. So they're just going to go Decay Liliana and the game's over. Yeah, I'm just I'm not beating a Resolve Liliana. I thought I was playing against a combo deck. Maybe I should have not done that in order to be able to stop the Liliana. But then they just like discard spell me. Inside boarding. But 
But isn't turn one brainstorm like super loose? I could bring in all of these cards. I don't know if that is right to do, but we're going to see what this looks like at least. Daylose is just kind of another app to tune in Nemesis, but that might not be good enough. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take your word for it there, Archmage. I feel like my removal is not great. I, mean, I want some removal, but not a lot of removal. And with Thoughtseize and Pyroblast and Dismember, I think I can at least get, and then like Liliana Last Hope, I think I can at least get whatever it is off the battlefield. Maybe Flusterstorm's not great. Because like the cards I'm fighting over are Baleful Strix and Liliana, basically. So maybe the Flusterstorms aren't, aren't, aren't great. Or they'll probably be worth bringing in on the draw because I'm going to cut some of my dazes. I think so. I guess I get that. If your mana is spoken for, Archmage, that makes a little bit of sense. I would like to play first. I'm going to keep his hand because I have a brainstorm. And I don't think I want a mulligan against his hand because I'm probably going to get like hemmed real bad. So I want like. I guess that was another reason to keep Flusterstorm because it deals with him. So I think, like, note to self, I want something in my hand that lets me play on him. And they did. They did throw me off, for sure. Like, okay. So I'll daze like a thought sees here, then play my Bloodstained Mire and pass, and Pyroblast something if I can. Card underneath is a Ponder. Do I want to use my mana? I guess I do kind of want to brainstorm on my main phase, because, because I have daze. Like, even if I draw something to do here, yeah. So let's get rid of this land. And then let's get rid of a cantrip. Ooh, I have to get Blood Crypt to turn this on. I always forget about that. So I guess now I actually just get Steam Vents and Ponder. This is just a mistake for me. I think I want to shuffle this. What am I going to brainstorm back? I guess leaving brainstorm is like better than the average card. But I do want like some way to win the game. Yeah, maybe, I probably should have shuffled. Like, Brainstorm is, like, a very good card, but it's probably better, it's not worth keeping those other cards. Alright, so we're going to Daze Bob. Daze back, okay.
Whoa. So blast this. Diabolical. I think I just take Tarmogoyf. Dismember Bob. And then figure it out from there. But I couldn't even cast Harm of Life. Now if I get him, like I'm gonna lose. Oh, so they drew Verdant Catacombs. So they are gonna be able to cast all their cards next turn. I kinda don't wanna do anything. Because if I thought sees like if I thought sees I want to take like abrupt decay, and then that might like make my opponent feel a little fishy about what's going on, and think that I have the other spells countered or covered. And I don't really want to brainstorm because I like all my cards, so I guess we could just wait. And then I can like definitely win a counter war over one of these cards. And then if I have to untap and thought seize the other one. Cause like I'm looking for threats. The problem is my threats just die. My threats only do anything. I need like I need like bitter I need to like discard spell them into Bitter Blossom or like Liliana the Last Hope. Excuse me. But well, we're getting to the point where Bitter Blossom's not that great because my life total's under a little peril. So maybe I shouldn't have had. Maybe I shouldn't have had um, Bitter Blossom in my deck because like it's not great. Like, I think Bitter Blossom is more for the plow decks. I'm not sure. I appreciate um, Jurgosh, Mindy, Papir, Vatnada, and Watermelon for the follows. If you guys are all still in the chat, I appreciate that. Oh yeah, I wasn't throwing shade at you, JVD Paul. I was, I was um, like just doing what I thought. Like I was, I was just thinking out loud on my turn four, basically. What are you gonna do? You gonna daze me? Hey Schultz Cubed, how are you doing this morning? What are you waiting on, dude? Yeah. What do you got? Do you have a force? I hope they force this. For the love of Christ, please force this. Are you playing in the challenge today, Schultz Cube, or are you going somewhere to play paper? Oh, baby. We are going to get nasty. So now we just go Thought Seize. Take away their Diabolic Edict. They have Tarmogoyf, so what do they have? They have sorcery, they have instant sorcery, 
So I don't have any sorceries, so I should get rid of all of my sorceries to make Tarmogoyf tiny, because they just have land, creature, instant planeswalker. Playing the challenge. Four old lands. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna be able, we're gonna let him ponder. We lost the lands. Lands is what beat us, knocked us out of the SCG. Our storm opponent lost the lands. Oh, such a blowout. Such a beater. Like our, our lands opponent had one surgical on their board. Oh, that's big. <coughs> Probably brainstorm now. Okay. Hopefully I don't play a land and just jam this true name assist down my throat. I'm going to keep this Pyroblast on top just in case they him me. I can still Pyroblast the True Name Nemesis. I'm really going to need one Death Shadow to win this game. Oh, they did. Yeah, I zoned out there. Okay. Yeah, he. It just happened that like Delray drew the t tendrils. It's kind of unfortunate we have to shuffle away our second shadow, but like have to counter this. You have two dazes. Um, um, yeah, so like what happened was he had one surgical in his board, and Delray EOT Hercules recalled all of his opponents um like lock pieces, and then he drew tendrils for his turn, and he's like, Okay, I win unless he has surgical. And the guy had his one of surgical. And I was just like, we were just like, yep, that's that's all she wrote. What's my opponent doing? Like, this is pretty obvious either way, right? So unfortunately, grows time of life. All right, we're gonna keep Delver. It's something that gets edicted, and uh, it's just a critter. So now, if this Delver flips, we do have lethal next turn. All right, that's a good start for the home team. I'd like to look at all the chemical reactions in the brain during the resolution of surgical extraction and match up where it clearly doesn't belong. <laughs> Big brain. Wasteland, no. Okay. So now they push this. Okay, we're going to waste them off green. Cuts off like Tarmogoyf as a blocker. Baleful Strix would be really bad. Oh my god. 
And they have a waste. I guess we don't really have any reds. We have an abrade, I guess. Oh my god. Savage shit. Alright, they don't do anything. We don't do anything. All right, you got my last hope. Who draws out of it? I think I just shuffle this. This brainstorm is just not very good without a way to look at. So this brainstorm, if I draw this brainstorm, I get one card deeper. I get one card deeper also by shuffling. And my other two cards don't suck. Don't do it to me, dude. God, you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> Ray likes a redraw. I think that means I don't have any outs. I guess I'm going to hit push. They got it. We haven't, we haven't started the challenge yet. Challenge starts in... Challenge starts in like 